Hi guys and welcome to Cricket Caviar and today we are going to discuss West Indies versus Australia which was held at Sydney Cricket Ground and uh, Pratik I must tell you that batting first is tough no matter how big a team you were batting first is going to be tough and Australia just found out uh, how tough was batting first because uh, you know they were 89 for 5 but I must at the same time appreciate Australia for the intent that they started with. And we have al always associated this intent with Australia, be it uh, Travis Head's knock in, in the final, in the semi-final or, uh, you know, even Marnus Labushin's knock uh, in South Africa. Because, you know, uh, I must tell you, Jason, Jace Fraser Magger, he's a debutant. He has reputation of scoring a 29 ball 100 in uh, March Cup, which is the 50 over uh, domestic cup for uh, Australia. And he started with showing Alzari Joseph that I am the boss. He hit him for a 6 and a 4, but uh, Alzari came back and took his wicket. But Australia were relentless. Uh, that can be shown by the fact that uh, Cameron Green was trying to hit the ball out of the park when they were 89 for four in 15 overs. And that's how we got yeah, out. Yeah, yeah I was surprised they were going to pick 10 over even though they had lost four or five wickets, which is, uh, again, a good approach, right? Very Staying very positive. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, yeah, I must say, West Indies did not capitalize on winning the toss, you know, and having Australia at 89 for five. They should mm -hmm. have never let them score around 260. Like, that was the first mistake that they made. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, yeah, I was too disappointed, but it was Sean Abbott the man behind me, you can see uh, this guy. I would say he's uh, very underrated. He may be a better all-rounder than Pat Cummins. Maybe not as good as a bowler, but if you combine both batting and bowling skills, he has done it time and time again in Big Bash League. I have seen one match where Sydney Thunder were like 39 for 6 and they uh, he made them chase uh, 120 or something. But uh, today, uh, he came at 142 for 6. He came at number uh, 8. And uh, from there on, he shepherded the tail along with Adam Zampa, along with uh, Will Sutherland, who was also making his debut, the son of James Sutherland, ex-Australia cricket CEO. And, uh, you know, he was just beautiful. He feasted on those full tosses. And I must say, I'm disappointed by Ocean Thomas because, you know, uh, he was once in contention for an IPL contract, but he's too, uh, um, his discipline is very bad. I mean, he just kept throwing those full tosses. And uh, that was the problem, I guess. Yeah, I was very surprised, Sean, about not only, like, he's a number eight, but he planned his innings. Like, he started slow and then he was hitting sixes in the end. So, yeah. it was a proper, proper innings. He was Anisha, what do you have to think about West Indies bowling performance? Hmm. So, actually, yeah. I will start with something else. I mean, it was an Eureka moment for me when I realized that uh, uh, Sean about kind of resembles the actor Ethan Hawke. And since then, I have been in that, yeah. uh, you know, world. But uh, yeah, I mean, today there is nothing much uh, to talk, highlights to talk about West Indies, uh, either batting or bowling. Uh, I mean, I was I was about to tell you in the group, like, uh, Alzari Joseph, uh, you know, he gets hammered, but he also takes wicket. But after thing, it also fizzled out. I, I really like Alzari Joseph, but I don't know. Mm. Uh, the discipline factor is common in all the West Indian bowlers playing. Uh, I, but I liked uh, Moti. I think the name is Moti, right? Yeah, Moti. Moti. I mean, he's, he was really good. He was really good. I think I have seen him in other West Indies uh, matches earlier and he was really good. Uh, batting also, he tried as much as possible. But uh, today, it was more about, it was all about Australia. Like from 91 to 5 to reaching that target was shocking, first of all. How did they manage to do that? And especially the partnership of Sutherland and Sean Abbott. They were mm. like, I was just seeing, seeing that only one six by Sean Abbott till then. But every over, they were making it count by running between the wickets. I mean, every over had at least minimum five or six runs contribution. And the moment uh, he was inching towards his 50 and even after, just started like bang, bang, bang. Especially Romario Shefford uh, being uh, the yeah. target. But yeah. Uh, and the three wickets, not to forget the three wickets which he also took. So, yeah, Sean Abbott was hats off. Yeah. was very good. Player. And I must say, uh, Moti, uh, he took the three most crucial wickets. Like, he took Labushin, who was actually looking very well. He took Matthew Short, 
who was already on 41 and he took Aaron Hardy who was actually looking to take the Australian innings deep. So he took three most important wickets and he out bowled Adam Zampa in a way because Adam Zampa could only pick one wicket today. Uh, you know, and he was excellent with his left arm spin. He was bowling it slow. There was a lot of pace variation from uh, Moti. Uh, but coming to West Indies chase, I had actually big hopes from uh, Shai Hope. Uh, you know, Ali Kathanes, I think, I thought he was due for a big one. But uh, just after hitting two fours, he, he got a... Uh, top edge and uh, a skyer. So we, was... yeah, like we also met during the mid innings, right? And we discussed that 260 can be chased if they can apply themselves. But I don't know what is wrong with West Indies batters. They're just there for the mm. flare. They'll hit a couple of mm. good cover drives and straight drive and then they'll get out quickly. But wh mm. where is the point when you have to apply yourself as a batter, form partnerships? Mm. And unfortunately, we only saw one good partnership, maybe Casey Carty and uh, Shai yeah, Hope yeah. made a That was my partner. big hope. Actually, Shai Hope and Casey yeah. Carty, they were playing really well. But the problem was Shai Hope was not scoring at a faster rate. Mm. And that ball from Hazelwood, it was wicked, man. I mean, how did it move off the pitch so much? I couldn't just believe it. And <laughs> Hazelwood coming remember back... Hazelwood greeted uh, Shai Hope with the first... Ball also like it was a deadly in swinger like uh, and Shea Hope had no answers to that. So this Hazelwood was the difference, I guess. Like he obviously did not get man of the match, but the way he bowled his top first pen. And like, also was, one common factor deadly. with the first ODI uh, uh, was the first the top three uh, like uh, batsmen of West Indies all going when like on a single digit or something like uh, they performed the same thing in the second also. So how, yeah. I mean, it's such a, I can say a bad influence or something. How the others are going to play when you're doing, contributing almost nothing. Yeah. It's and why did you demote your best batter? Why was Casey Carty sent at five today? What was that? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I did not understand that at all. Actually, the only yeah. person I'm happy with the intent that Alzari Joseph showed, actually, he came back. He came and hit Hazelwood for a sixer. He hooked him to find like... But I felt he even the, hit him in the test match. <laughs> yeah, but the game Hazelwood, actually was has lost he has when, a personal battle. <laughs> yeah, the game was lost when they crossed 200. I think 200 is the limit that Australia had. And, uh, you know, uh, Australia came with that intent to score 300. Actually, I thought the way they came out to bat, I thought they wanted to score 350 or 400. But, uh, you know, they could only manage 250. And, yeah, we discussed in the lunch break there. This was a great opportunity. I felt if Shai Hope or. Uh, Casey Carty could have carried on. I think the chase was over once Casey Carty got out and then yeah. there was nothing left. Yeah, you still need a 100 from the top order to chase 250 plus. Exactly. Score, and that did yeah. not come. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, Lobman, Pavel and uh, Akil Hossein. I mean, I don't know. I they, mean, will, they will definitely they, add more depth to the batting. Yeah. 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 Nicholas Puran. They kind of uh, with the different uh, aura. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, that's it. Uh, like, let's hope like the last match is in uh, Canberra, right? So if West Indies can mm -hmm. have a pride win, but this would have been very interesting. Mm -hmm. The series would have been wide open right, has, yeah. had they win today. So uh, also it will be dead that, now, unfortunately. I was reading that this match was actually could have been won by West Indies. First, they mm -hmm. let it go in due, because of their bowling, and then again batting. So if yeah. this has become tough, because we are seeing right as they were saying, ninety-one for five. And then, come, like, you know, they scored 200 plus 250 something. So, if this was so much pressurizing, then I think Australia now has an upper edge. To whitewash? Because they, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, also, we have to think about this, that this is probably West Indies' weakest format, right? right? They have the T20 stars, and then they have some mm -hmm. dedicated players who play test cricket. But in the ODI, mm -hmm. we are, first of all, not... Come totally sure with the selection, and then secondly, the players who are playing who are themselves not that confident. So and this Canberra is... will have uh, shorter boundaries. So the ball that got Alzari Joseph, who was caught in the deep by a tall uh, player, uh, I think it was Mackenzie Harvey, the substitute. He caught him yeah. actually in the deep. So you know those balls will clear uh, the fence. So. Yeah, let's have some hope for Canberra because shorter boundaries may help. Yeah, and I think West Indies should be more aggressive in Canberra then, right? They should just take yeah. one one particular route and try to play that way. Yeah, so. yeah. So that's the uh, wrap up on uh, second ODI at Sydney Cricket Ground. Thank you, Pratik, Manisha, for you, joining. Right. And uh, let's hope West Indies get the win in the third ODI. Thank you. Bye. Go Indies. Bye.